All right, so I started uh, playing with skins in IL-2. Um, I thought I'd just try to do a video where it goes over those last steps of um, exporting your skin to a .dds file, which is a direct draw surface file, um, so you can actually use it in the sim. That seems to be the trickiest step. So this is not about um, painting your skin. This is about uh, using your alpha channel to create a layer mask and export to .dds. So now what I'm using is I downloaded um, GIMP 2.10. That's their latest version. It comes with the uh, DDS plugin um, installed and um, it maintains the integrity of the layers and groups. So you'll see these groups of layers, whereas I guess the older versions um, you'd actually have to drag these layers out of the groups to get them to show. So anyways, let's see. So I got that from, you know, just GIMP.org. It's a free download, and I did the Windows version. So you can just go to GIMP.org to find that. Um, I use Photoshop to paint. Um, that's just because I've used it for years. Um, so if you don't have Photoshop, um, just use uh, this program here. So anyway, so... Uh, this is a template that I downloaded from the IL2 forums. Um, let's see, that's here. So if you go to, you know, um, skins and templates, and you can see they've been updated 10, 10, 19, and then you can click on any one of the models you want and um, download a PSD, and uh, there's two files, an alpha file or something. So, um, but anyways. So I'm actually just using one of these files that I painted on, and um, which I already did. And in those, it comes with a default alpha channel. Now you can create custom alpha channels, but that's not what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do here. So, um, so basically, uh, this is just the default template, and I've already painted on it. I'm opening up, doing the last steps. So what I need to do is I need to come up to channels, click on this alpha channel, and I'm going to drag it up to the layers tab here. You can see if I move it between channels and layers, it changes. And now I'm going to make sure that I put that at the very top. And we want to make sure we don't um, check the eyeball, you know, for viewing. We want to leave that unchecked. Same way with the channels. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flatten this. We'll make sure we click on any layers. And that way, when we go to image flatten, we'll be able to click flatten. Um, if you don't, if you don't click on one of these layers, uh, flatten image might be grayed out. So if you see that grayed out, come over, click on any layer to activate it. We're going to flatten that image, and you want to make sure you save backups of your files and do not save your flattened image. Or you lose all your work. Then we're going to come to layer uh, mask, add layer mask. It's set the channel. There's our alpha channel. We're going to click add. And there we can see the conversion. And we're going to go file, export as. And it's already set the DDS because I was doing one before. But uh, you would come down to select file type and you can find DDS. If this said PSD or something, you simply you could type in .dds or choose it off here. So we're going to go test. This will change the file name. I'm going to click export. And here it comes up with a dialog box. And I want to, you might, if you're doing this for the first time, it might be closed and, you know, set the none and probably no mid maps. It might look like this. So we want to um, set our compression to uh, BC3 DXT5 for mid maps. We want to go ahead and switch that to generate mid maps. Click on advanced and set our filter to box it might say default so make sure it says box leave the rest default and we'll go ahead and click ok and it, that exported the file and here we see our dds3 file um, the one we just made and we will copy that and we're going to paste that into our skins there we go and then what we want to do is to check it is we'll go ahead and open up the viewer. So I didn't know where the viewer was. Here's the 
path to the viewer and you probably want to uh, right click you know make a shortcut to desktop for that so let's go ahead and open our viewer and we will select our model there's a mark 5 skin and there's one we just did and that's it so those are the last steps I mean that you so that's the tricky part of doing this so I'm gonna go ahead and undo everything is you know after you paint it is is getting it to this getting it to the DDS so I just opened the file I've already done my painting and now let's quickly go through those steps I'm gonna click on channels click on our alpha channel drag it up to layers and we want to make sure we put that at the top make sure that the eyeball is not selected make sure we have clicked on any layer um, so then we're going to come over to um, image flatten image wait for it to flatten then we're going to go layer mask add layer mask channel alpha channel go ahead and add and then we're going to go to file export as make sure it's set to dds click export oops got to change the name let's do 3a click export we'll get our dialog box make sure the compression is bc3 dxt5 mip max mip blah, mip maps generate mip maps uh, center mip maps filter to box leave the rest default and click ok and that's it and once that's done uh, you probably want to undo everything um, to make sure uh, you don't accidentally save your file and then of course there's our um, there's the one we just created so that's it so one last time for good measure All right, so that's it. Um, that's the tricky part. The rest is just have fun painting and watch your layers and all that good stuff. But those are the final steps to um, actually get it to a skin you can actually use in game. Um, now, one of the other things is you can actually create a custom alpha, you know, custom mass. So if I went over here to the alpha, drag this into the layers. So this is now going to be my mask like we just went over. Let's call this, you know, my spit. That sounds weird, but that's what we'll do. And then if you check the eyeball and you wanted to, so now you can, you know, view the layer, you could adjust the grayscale and paint on this select areas. And by doing so, you will um change how glossy um, those areas are and stuff and there's some other videos on that but then you would um, basically oops uncheck that and we will take this now this layer and let's move it over here and we have now um, created a custom alpha channel you know because basically you draw drove ah, you had um, dragged the original alpha to your layers and we went ahead and pretend well we adjusted this and then you dragged this back to the channels and so now if we come over here to image flatten image and then when we go to layers mask um, add layer mask now you can see the channels now we have a choice and if we custom, we have our custom mask, then you'd click add, and then you would continue on through to export. So um, there are some other videos um, on on that as well, but I just thought I'd show you that real quick. But uh, hopefully this helps um, get you through those final steps to 
use that scan.